We saw the Prime Minister breaking the law last year of the prorogation of Parliament. We've seen the behaviour of Dominic Cummings, and we know that this government is prepared to break its international obligations. And what the Prime Minister said is complete rubbish, and the Prime Minister knows it. His own white paper was clear that state aid is going to be grabbed back from Scotland and handed to Westminster. Mr Prime Minister, Scotland is speaking out, and I state that the Scottish Parliament will reject this attack on devolution. So the question is, will the Prime Minister break domestic law, disregard the settled will of the Scottish people, ignore the concerns of Scotland's communities and press ahead with this bill? The time for Scotland's place as an independent, international, law-abiding nation is almost here. Our time has come. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, the, the answer, Mr Speaker, is that, uh, yes, indeed, we will press on with this bill because I believe that his attacks on, uh, on it are totally illogical. Uh, it actually represents a very substantial uh, transfer of, of, of powers, of sovereignty uh, to, uh, to Scotland, uh, to Wales. Uh, to North- it's a, it, is a, it is a massive devolutionary act. It also ensures the integrity of the UK internal market. And uh, uh, he, he speaks of a transfer of powers to uh, to, the, to the UK government. On the contrary, what he would do, Mr Speaker, is transfer powers uh, not just over competition and state aids back to Brussels, but of course over fisheries too. And that is the policy of the Scottish Nationalist Party, and it would be a disaster for our country. Mr Prime Minister, I'm sure that the leader of the SNP would like to withdraw that last comment of being a liar. No honourable member would do that. Would you please withdraw it? Mr. Speaker, I must say Sorry, I don't need any. it's on the face of the bill that the government of the UK is going to trample over devolution. That is not a lie. Mr. Blackford, you're a great member of this House. You do the right things by this House, and I've accepted that you've withdrawn it.